Ed is taking over the tour from Rochelle, and we had a little bit of a problem, Ed, which is Rochelle and I couldn't get the remotes to work on your awesome mirror slash TV. So do you think you can get it working? I think, let's see if it works. Oh look, now it's working. It is, we got a signal, it's uh, HDMI one is usually the key. The Simpsons, yay! Well, so I know you have an awesome feature in your house, which is you have a 10,000 gallon water tank. So why don't you tell I us do. about that and what can we take a look at with your water tank? It's outside, it's buried under the backyard. It has a, a big area up on the roof of this house above us, above the second story. There's two big drains that lead down to the um, to the tank, they're fed by gravity. Then there's a pump, a submersible pump inside the tank that leads to the irrigation system for the property. All the ornamentals get their water from the rain tank. Wow, and so that rain <coughs> tank is all from water you catch on your property. You're Correct. not using any city water. We use very little city water for some of the like lettuces and things like that. We use city water for that because the, the tank gets a little funky sitting for a while. It's better for ornamentals and things like that. I don't recommend that you put it on lettuce. Well, it's not potable, right? You can't drink Correct. that water? Correct, you can't drink it. Okay. They have very specific guidelines as to potable water, and they're good rules. But we have a gray water system also. You can't use that on, uh, you know, like lettuce, let's say, but it's very good for fruit trees. That also is fed directly by gravity right down to the fruit orchard. And then we have some trees in the front yard that are getting what is essentially free water from the water filtration system. It has a back flush that it does to, to keep the filter clean. It does a back flow every 12 days and that water goes out and irrigates the trees in the front. So we're getting kind of free water from several sources. And this is something we should all be doing in a drought you don't need to get any other water to irrigate your property and irrigate your plants That's and correct. irrigate things you're, you're eating, which is amazing. It's so a nice system. And I also know because of all of your solar panels and all of the wonderful features here, you have a very low energy bill, don't you? Very low. We have nine kilowatts of solar and it was a nice system, but I wanted to have backup in case the DWP, the Department of Water and Power, the utility ever went out. I wanted a backup battery, so I got a Tesla Powerwall, and they said, you get another bonus with that, it'll shave off what they call peak power usage. That's the most expensive power. It's like 30 cents a kilowatt hour or something, or 28 cents a kilowatt hour, they, to right. encourage you to not use it during that period. So that power, because of the Tesla Powerwall, I never use anymore. It, kicks on with a battery whenever you have a big demand in the house, that peak time, so you're not using the DWP power at that time, you're using your power wall. Do you ever feed the grid? We feed the grid regularly. We're probably feeding it right now. Yay! Um, I love that! The feed grid. the grid! I know. You want to help your neighbors, keep the power going in the neighborhood, and that's what solar does. And it's good for the DWP. Lots of utilities have realized, as the DWP has, that it's less money for them to encourage people to put up solar in their houses. If you get two or three houses in a neighborhood like this that have a robust solar system like mine, you don't have to have guys come in as more people get more big screen TVs and you know charging things and all sorts of other electronic devices. They need to restring and bring another thousand amps or two thousand amps into a neighborhood. You don't have to do that because you've got you know solar in the neighborhood that keeps the voltage up. And no brownouts. We've had exactly. this tremendous heat wave and you're lucky because you don't have to worry about a, a brownout, which is going around because everyone's using their air conditioning. And the more they encourage rooftop solar and other solar farms and wind turbines, that renewable power is very good at keeping us off, you know, uh, you know, brownout situations or yes. lots of fossil fuel, lots of fossil fuel, fuel use. Nice, and it looks beautiful too. That's one thing I always say, it's easy to be green, it can be beautiful, it can be good for your pocketbook and always is. It's good for your health and just let's go green everyone. But I need to take a look at your office because I noticed on the way in, let's take a look at this. Let's look. There's lots of pollution that you have to be careful of and one is noise pollution, so I don't want any problems. Let me give you a little light here. Let's here just... we go, let's say we have a, if there's a, I'm gonna get on this side of it if I may. Okay, well. Let's say there's some noise pollution going on in this house that I don't like, and I can't imagine what the source of that is. You wanna be protected against that. Ed thinks this is noise pollution. I'm sorry, Rochelle. You're not noise pollution. Ed, why is Rochelle noise pollution? It's the man cave. You <laughs> this know, she is has the Rochelle free zone. I don't want any trouble, you know? I just uh, want to get along. 
She has a good sense of humor, bless her heart. No, I funny. know she. That's that's adorable. It's funny. <laughs> uh oh. Tell us it's not a life and well free zone. <laughs> You're welcome. Come on in. Oh my goodness, look at that. Got a nice view of that beautiful oak tree. That's the heart and soul of the property right there. We built the house around the oak tree. There's one out front, of course, as you see there. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. The tree's been here much longer than us. It's been here 100 plus years, so that's you know key to this property, and uh, it really is the heart and soul of the property, that tree. Well, Ed, thank you so much for letting us barge in. Thank you. I, I had love a visiting great with you. Time. Thank you for you being too. vegan and caring about the environment and driving a Prius. You're a wonderful lady. I'd like to thank Ed and Rochelle for giving us a tour of their eco-friendly dream home. I think I'm ready to move in.